back, Christine. This is my sister-in-law, Christine Sprague, and she's joined me today on the Chef You and I show. And we're now going to take the marinated pork loin, and we're going to put it in the oven, and we're going to cook it. Okay. And we're going to cook it for about 45 minutes, or with a, we're actually going to put a thermometer in it, and it actually has to come to 145 degrees, okay. and then you know it's done. So what we're going to do is we're going to take it out from the marinade. Hi. Here we go. And we're going to put it in there, right? And then you could use this to baste it if okay. you wanted to. So I'm going to baste it just a little bit, right? Right. And do that. Get those onions in there. All right. And then I'm going to put the peppers around it like that. Some of these instead of just do it like that. That's really sweet, right? Put them right there and here and here. And now I'll wrap it up. I'm going to wrap it up like that. I'm going to seal it. And then what we're going to do, do that. we're going to put the thermometer in it like this into the thickest part of it, right? Okay. And then we're going to wrap it up. Okay. Now we're going to put it in the oven and it's 355, 355 degrees for 45 minutes. So I need you to put this in the oven. Right there, okay. and we're ready to rock. So we need to put this over there. And the next thing that we're gonna make is we're going to make the cheese ball for our appetizer, right? And we're also, I'm gonna finish cutting these up so that we have them um, for the actual uh, cream cheese, I think you have cream cheese. Uh, I think so. Okay, so you want to go over there and get the cream cheese for the. This is for our bread. We're back on the chef you and I with my sister-in-law Christine Sprague and the tastefully simple bread mix, right? And this yes. is a beer batter bread. Kind yes. Of deal? Savory wheat beer batter bread. Okay, so it's really simple, isn't it? You're just it gonna. Is. We're just gonna take this, right? Open mm -hmm. it up. Take the package out, right? Right. And actually, okay, and we're going to put it into a bowl, correct? Correct. This is simple. And then we're just going to add beer. Is add beer it? and a little melted butter. That's it. The butter is optional. You don't have to put it in there, but. Right, and what we did was we actually melted three tablespoons. Mm -hmm. You put that in while I put this in, and then we're going to pour that into a, you know, we're going to spray, right, a, a pan, and then just bake it in one pan? Yes. Okay, and we just used uh, 12 ounces of beer, right? Right. And that. Or nice. you can use soda. Or any kind of um, liquid like that. Do you like this? As long as it's carbonated. Yours? Yes. And that's what it's supposed to look like, right? Yep. That looks easy. Oh, it smells good too. Doesn't it? <laughs> it now does. I want you to do me a favor while I'm doing that. Um, you know, remember, uh, actually, <clears throat> I bought some Philadelphia cream cheese that had uh, peppers and stuff like that in it, but I thought that would be really pretty in it. So go ahead and put those peppers in okay. with it, and then you've got actually the making of a really cool spread for what we're doing. And then we can show this. That's pretty simple. And it makes really a nice bread recipe. And then I'm going to teach you something really quick. <laughs> that makes it fine. That looks good. Don't worry about it's it. It's not stirring good. <laughs> Here, let me do it. You want me to show you how to do it? Okay. That's easy. All right. Just do this, Christine. Makes it easy. You just fold it in. Okay. Okay, and you got it ready, and then you can actually, what you can do is put this in the refrigerator for a few minutes so it gets nice and cold, right? I was just trying not to make a mess. Stop worrying. Mm. We'll put it in the refrigerator and we're ready to go. So now we've got to put this into the oven for 60 minutes, right? Right. Okay. So we're just going to take a short break before we get a little bread pan. We'll put that in, and then we'll put it in the oven, and we'll start on our other project, which is the lime 
Key lime. Key lime cheese, cheese ball. ball. Hmm? That's unusual. Why? Do it's, you like I it? Know. It's really good. It's really good. I can't <laughs> wait to try it. Okay, we'll be right back. The next thing we need to do is spray your your bread pan. Uh -huh. Okay, easy. And then you hold the bread pan while I do this. And we're going to do this real quick. And then it said 350 degrees, I think, for one hour. All right. So everything is going to come out together, actually. Makes it easy, huh? Pretty close. Pretty close. Right. Now, this looks good. Okay, so I'm going to move it over here. Now we're just going to put this in the oven. Looks good, Christine. Smells good too. It does. All right, can you put that over there? Mm -hmm. We're gonna put this in the oven for three for sixty minutes at right. three fifty. Okay. That's fine. All right. Now the next thing we're making is your your cheese ball. Okay? Yes. Okay. And we have another bowl right here. Okay. Right. I need to go over and get this. And this is a key lime cheese ball. Am I correct. correct? And tell me a little bit about what we need to put in there. Eight ounces of softened cream cheese. Okay, can I The cheese ball it? mix, and that's it. That's uh, it? That's it. That's great. Well, we're Very gonna easy. Weight Watchers. How about that? That's fine. Because you know, this is a healthy cooking show, and, pardon me, healthy cooking show that makes it really simple. So you want to open that up for mm -hmm. me? I'm going to put this in there. How much does it call for? Oh, eight ounces. Eight ounces. This is eight ounces, exactly. How many calories, Christine, um, is in this cheese ball? 25 calories per serving. Okay, so let's just do that. And it also has graham cracker crumbs to put on top after you form Ooh, it. Oh, that sounds really just good. Kind of sprinkle Are on there. Do you have scissors? Or? Any longer. And then you put that in there with yep. it? Yeah, you have really? scissors. Trusty, dusty scissors, right? And then you pour this in. Ooh, that looks good. Smells good. Here you go. Now we just mix this up, right? Yep, just mix it up, shape it into a ball. And then serve it with twisty grams that are sold by Tastefully Simple, which are little graham cracker pretzels or, mm, you know, or whatever you want to serve it with. Oh, my gosh. This is easy. It's really good. It is really good. I want you to see, I want the camera guy to see it. And then we're going to, we're going to cut some lemons, uh, lime slices, right, to get with it. Okay. Isn't that pretty? Now, we're going to make this into a ball like this, or are we going to put the yeah. graham crackers on first? You can do whatever you want, but I usually make it in a ball and then just sprinkle the top of it with the graham cracker crumbs. All right. Let's just take a little break so I can get a little plate for it so that we can serve it on a serving okay. plate. Okay. We're back. Chris, I want you to know this really turned out really fun. Mm -hmm. um, it doesn't exactly, since we used the lighter cheese, it probably, and we did it real quick, um, it looks more different than a cheese ball. You can make it in anything you want to. Right. I mean, it's going to be fun to eat the way it is. And then we put some lime slices around it, and we put some graham crackers. What do you think of that? Sounds good. And I tasted it during the little break, and it was delicious. So that made it simple. So we're going to take a little picture of it, and we're going to give you the recipe and where to get this box of Tastefully Simple, right? Right. So that looks really sharp. Took us a few minutes to do. So that's our appetizer that we're going to start with. And so let's put that aside. Okay. Okay. And the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to take a short break, and we will be right back on The Chef You and I with my sister-in-law, Chris Sprague. Thank, Thank you. you. And don't forget to check our website out at thechefyouandi.com. We'll be right back.